Howdy folks, Jim Gim here, welcome back to the channel and welcome back for some more TGC 2019. So today's course is Platinum Point and this is designed by Beef. And this is another entry into the TGCTours.com uh, Rookie Design Contest. So I'm going to keep everything on default, I haven't played this, I haven't even looked at it. Uh, gold tees, 7,237 yards. Well, let's get cracking. A uh, big shout out to, let me have a look, uh, Matthew Wood, because he was the one that told me to have a look at this. He reckons it um, could actually win it, or very close to it, and he says this is his very first course. So we're going to have a look at it. Beautiful first looking hole. That beach sand work all the way up the right hand side is absolutely stunning. Let's get the camera. Zoomed out, let's have a little look. I mean, even um, for a very first course, these bunkers are, are really, really well done. I mean, to get that deep, I mean, I've seen some very accomplished designers um, doing some bunker work that's not really that good, to be honest. That's, that's very well done. Okay. Oh, let's get back up. Yeah, I do like that beach work. Nice rock work is there as well. So he's got quite a lot of rock all the way through the course. Very nice looking course. And for a very first design, he's done exceptionally well. Oh, look, you've got like a, what would you call it? Like a big dockyard over here. Good if you had like big containers and stuff. <laughs> That'd look pretty cool. Yeah, very, very nice. What's this down here? Yeah. Cows and sheep. Okay, yep, I do like the looks of this. And there you've got the lighthouse way over in there. That must be the point, platinum point. As in the name of the course. Yep, beautiful course. Nice, um, nice layout. So let's get back to the tee. And put my HUD back on. And we'll get started. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, well, we've got hole one, 398 yards, par four, stroke index 12. Yeah, that rock work all the way up this side here as well. Very nice, nice terrain work. Okay, I think the driver's going to be too much, so we're going to drop it down to a three wood. That uh, should be all right there. Oh, another thing as well, um, some sad news. If I don't know if many of you guys uh, frequent the forums or anything, but... Uh, Tim Scott passed away last week, aka Divot Maker, which is very sad news. I knew he knew he was ill. He actually mentioned it a few times in some of his posts with treatment and that, but he sort of lost the fight and he passed away last week, uh, which is very sad. Uh, HP are doing a memorial tournament from this is this video will come out on Saturday, the twenty fourth, and they're doing a memorial tournament twenty fourth and twenty fifth in all the HB Studios official societies. So, if you want to pay a bit of respect, guys, join up for the memorial tournament and have a little play. I'll probably video it just to get it out there. Just a little bit of a memorial to Mr. Divot Maker, who's actually been with the franchise since way at the beginning. Very influential. But he knows a lot of what he's talking about in video game golf in general and golf itself. Very nice guy uh, on the forums. Had many conversations with him. So he'll be he'll be he'll be sorely missed in the forums and the community. Great advocate for the game. Okay, so I thought I'd just mention that. So let's get started here. 88 yards, playing about 91. So let's just take a little bit off of that. Matter of fact, I better have a look at the course conditions as well. Oh dear. That was shocking. But we're still on the green. Oh no, we're going to be on the fringe. Let me just have a quick look at these course conditions. Okay, so we've got fairways are firm, the greens are firm, and the green speed is medium fast. Okay, 41 feet, one foot up. It shouldn't turn too much. Oh, 
Oh, a little bit more pace than I would have had that. <laughs> That's not a bad little lag putt for that, that, that really bad approach shot. Yeah, probably some of you have probably wondered where I've been. It's been about a week since I've uploaded a video. Well, as you know, if you watch some of my videos, you know I have a couple of dogs, uh, King and Blaze. King was my, my mother's dog. We actually took in when she died. Uh, they're actually brothers. And on Monday, I think it was Mo Sunday or Mo Monday, he actually collapsed when he was out for a walk. And he, he, he was, his, his breathing and everything was um, hampered. And so we took him to the vet, rushed him over to the vet. And they, they thought it was... Um, or what would you call it? Diabetes at first. So they did a couple of tests and they, they actually thought it was diabetes. But then um, they followed, they kept him in overnight and things like that because he was, he was like hypothermic and things like that as well. And they did an ultrasound the following day and they, they found a, a massive growth on his heart. So they actually got us to rush him this was a, this was a, um, our local vet, and they told us that we had to rush him way over to Northampton, which was a, a hospital for, for for pets, and there was a, a cardiologist special special specialist over there, so we had to rush him over there, bundled up in blankets because he was still hypothermic and stuff. We had to put him in a different hospital over the night, and then they transferred him by like doggy ambulance to the the specialist unit. Uh, the following day and yeah so let me see 119 so that's playing about 126 i'll finish what i'm saying in a minute let's down off that a little bit yeah so they did a few tests that as well and they, they can't tell us if it's benign or aggressive but they, they had to drain fluid from his chest and things like that we were expecting the worst we were thought he was going to pass, if you know what I mean, because he was in a really bad shape. But after a day or two, he sort of perked up after they drained his chest and things like that. And we managed to get him home. He's home now and he's perked up. It seems to be not too bad. So to be honest, just through the week, I haven't really been, couldn't really be bothered playing much games at all. So that's, that's why I haven't posted any videos. And at the moment, we're just sort of taking it day by day with him. Yeah, it's, it, they can't operate on it. It's um, where it actually is on his heart, so they, they can't operate. So we're just kind of waiting the days out. So yeah, so that's why I haven't uploaded uh, any videos for for over a week, well, about a week. So anyway, that's enough of the sad news. So let's just go on with this course. It's a beautiful course. K hole three, three hundred ninety yards, par four, stroke index four. Again, great sand work, beach work. Nice bunkers as well. I do like all the planting he's done all the way up here as well. I think his bunkers are spectacular. Absolutely stunning. For the first course, it's bloody amazing actually. I wonder if he's um, designed a few courses but just not published them, if you know what I mean. Driver, I don't, I don't need the driver because there's not going to be a lot of difference. And I think driver's got a chance of running out there because of the firm fairways. So I'm going to go with three wood again. Oh, slow backswing. Hope it makes it to the fairway. Yeah, that's going to be fine. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, 135. Let's play about 141. That should be fine with the pitching wedge at 136. I'm going to put a little bit of loft on it though. Okay, all depends on distance now. That's looking not too bad if it just skips forward for me. Come on. Oh, it's not too bad at all. Again, great looking view there. The sort of beach. Okay, 10 foot, one inch down. Hardly any turn on this one. And we get a birdie. Nice one. Great looking hole this one, that rock work over there to the, past the, the green, all the way up the side of the beach there as well. It's a beautiful beach. Nice retaining wall. You don't usually get the very straight retaining walls like that. Very square. It's done a really good job on that as well. 
Okay, so what we've got here? We've got, a, oh, we've got like a little gully there right in the green. See that? Don't want to be down there. Okay, 220. It's playing about 218. I think we're going to be fine with a 5 hybrid. Put a little bit of loft on it just to try and get it to sort of land a bit softer. And hopefully it doesn't run. Ooh, see 5 iron. I don't think, that, I think that's not enough. Let's try, try this. Now I don't want this to run too far. I think it is. Oh, don't hit the gully. Oh, just. I'm quite glad I played that to the left actually, but I think I went straight for the pin. That probably would have been down now. Okay, well we've got 30 feet, one inch up. Again, not much of a turn on this. Oh, it turned a little bit more than I thought. That could be my backswing though. If you look at that put and swing, pulled it way left. It's got a nice lighting as well. Very well done. That's went past quite a bit. But we get the par. Okay, hole 5, 480 yards, par 4, stroke index 16. Again, lovely terrain work, all the way up this right hand side. He's done a great job with the planting, it's very natural looking. A couple of little bunkers to the left hand side of the green now. Okay, driver, let's just try and smash one up the middle. Should be fine. Just don't kick left, that's fine. Okay, it looks like we're on an upslope here. One eighty eight. Yeah, it's playing about one eighty four. Let's just take a little bit off of that. My swing's a little bit wild, look at the line. I thought that wind might have pushed that in a little bit more. Okay, we're on the green. Pattern for birdie. Tricky little one, this one. 12 feet, 5 inches down. A little bit of a turn. Left to right here. I'm just going to have to tap this. Oh, and that's turned way too much. Again, uh, great terrain work, lovely planting. It's a lot of rocks though. <laughs> I suppose that's the look he's went for though. Uh, it does look pretty good. Okay, you got a little sort of Russian war through the rocks there, into a little sort of stream. I do like the way he's got that sort of fenced off there. That sort of grid, that looks pretty cool. Yeah, it's looking nice. Okay, so we're going to have to drop down a three wood here. That should be fine. <coughs> I don't know if we're going to reach this green in two. Might have to be a layup. 290. Yep, definitely going to have to lay this up. Okay, 290. Probably want to leave myself a full shot. I don't want to be pitching in there. So I want to hit this, what? 290. Yeah, about there, I reckon. That should leave us about 100 yards in. Yeah, 
Yeah, the way my tempo is at the moment, I want to kind of stay away from flop shots and pitches at the moment. Okay, 98. That's playing about. 102. So we'll go up to the 108 in the sand wedge. And we'll put a bit of loft on that. I need that wind to push it. Come on. Distance was pretty good. It wouldn't just didn't do as much as I thought it would. Okay. Not a bad little putt here. Nine foot, one inch down. It's got a little bit of a turn. And we get another birdie. Yeah, so if you're a bit dodgy with your tempo, you're going for like a long par four or a par five, it's probably the best thing to do if you're laying up, try and leave yourself 100 yards short and then you're not having to flop in or pitch in. Just a little bit easier to hit a full shot than it is a pitch shot or a flop shot. And even if you do sort of miss tempo a little bit with the full shots, they don't go as far off line as they do with the short game shots. Okay, driver. Oh, it's a pretty tough little landing area here. Let's have a look which way this is going to kick. Looks like it's going to kick to the, the right there, so it might end up in the rough. And then again, it's going back down that way. I don't know whether it dropped down by three wood. 446. Now, I think we'll just go with the driver. Hopefully, we should get that down now. Oh, that was nearly a slow. Okay, come on, stay on. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Okay, 145. About 149. 9 iron. That should be good enough. Down loft, just a little touch. A bit of a right to left slope. So we'll aim over to the right hand side here. In fact, we'll aim more, a little bit more, I think. Oh, that slope, that didn't move at all. That sort of stayed out there. <coughs> Spot on distance as well. I think I probably pushed that a little bit to the right, looking at the swing. Oh, this is a toughie. 19 feet, 4 inches down. Big swing right to left here. Yeah. Oh, look how fast that turned. I do think um, some of the putts come off way too quick on the turns, the brakes. That moved hell of a quick to the left. Okay, hole eight, 471 yards, par four, stroke index 10. Again, great terrain work. Nice planting. Okay, so it looks like we're hitting up to this sort of section of the fairway and then cutting over towards the green. Lovely looking hole, this one. Okay, 303 yards. Puts us kind of right in the middle of this fairway. <coughs> 152. It's playing about 153. I think the iron. A little bit of loft on it. Well, that's looking not bad. Oh, it's just going to go past the pin. That's going to leave us a little downhill putt, I think. I oh, know, pretty flat. Got a little bit of a turn, right to left on it. 16 feet. Oh, that was too pacey, way too pacey. I 
As you see, my game's still not quite there yet. I mean, I've only played, what, three, four rounds in the last two, three weeks. <laughs> so it, it does tell. Okay, hole nine, 183 yards. Par three, stroke index two. Huge shared green, this one. You've got the, the sort of stairs going up in the middle there. Love the retaining wall. His retaining wall is very, very smooth. Really, really well done. I mean, I don't know how hard these things are to do, but like I said before, with these bunker work and that as well, I've seen even some of the accomplished designers. But that is, that is really, really smooth. That is really well done. Okay, lovely big shared green here. Got that hump going right down the middle of the green, sort of splitting it. So what have we got? 183. That's playing about 175. Run about that. 172. Oh, I think we're going to stick there. No, I'm going to go down to the, the 7 iron. And I'm going to down loft that touch. Oh, that's not bad at all. Yeah, it's not bad at all. That was the right call. It's just rolled right past the pin now. Good view of the lighthouse. As I said, that, that'll be platinum point out there. I'd imagine. Okay, 19 feet, four inches up. Got a little bit of a turn right to left on this. Oh, have I hit it? Have I hit it? No, I haven't. Oh. I do like this, the steps he's got there. If you look on the left hand side, there's like three sets of steps going up to that next tee box there. Okay, hole 10, 538 yards, par 5, stroke index 1. So, hardest hole in the course here. Okay, there's a fairway sort of just turned around there. It looks like we're going uphill for the second shot. Again, lovely terrain work, all that rock. Okay, should be alright with the driver. Uh oh. Hopefully, this is going to kick left. Oh, what a kick. That was a terrible swing. Slow, slow. And we should still be able to reach the green now. That should be okay. Alright, come on, bite. Okay, we're on for an eagle. <clears throat> Hopefully we'll get the birdie out of it. It looks like it's going to be a, quite a big swing left to right this putt though. Not too bad. 19 feet, 3 inches up. Oh, I didn't hit that again, I don't think. Oh, I'm under hitting them. Especially the uphill putts, you just don't want to under hit them. Okay, we'll get a birdie out of that though. That's not too bad. Hole 11, 192 yards, par 3, stroke index 5. Okay, he's even thought about putting a little pathway all the way through the, the rough there, all the way up to the green. You've got a bit of a backstop at the back of the green here. Okay, 188, it's playing about 186. I think we should be good with the 6 iron. Let's put a little bit of loft on that. Oh, it's gone a little bit left. Now, hopefully it's going to hit this and come back. Come on, come come, come, come on. Yeah, I wanted to be a little bit more to the right there, I and mean, it would have come down towards the pin instead of... There's a big pool left, though, if you look at the swing. Okay, pretty flattish looking putt this one. Got that little turn there. And you've got a little turn left to right as well. I think it's more dominant to the left to right here. So I'm going to just aim it to the 
left edge of the cup. 18 feet, 3 inches up. Let's try not to hit this one. Come on, drop. Yes, we get it. Okay, hole 12, 339 yards, par 4, stroke index 7. Okay, it looks like you've got a little bit of a ruins there on the left hand side. It's a great looking hole as well, all the way downhill towards green. Let's just have a little look here. Yeah, it looks like you've got some sort of ruins there. It looks like an outhouse. Toilet? <laughs> it's like a well, I think that is. Yep. Very nicely done. This is pretty well done as well. Pretty cool. Nice little sort of water feature that just comes into this little pool here. I do like the rock work and all that inside there. That's very natural looking. A couple of little fish would be nice in there. Okay, so we're downhill here. I'm going to drop it down to the three wood. It should be okay. Well, maybe even the five wood there. One iron. I reckon I'll go with the one iron here. Now that's going to leave us a pitch. And I said earlier, I don't really like doing pitch shots, but <clears throat> I suppose we'll go for one here. Okay, 68. It's played about 65. I reckon the sand wedge pitch should do it, actually. I'm going to put a little bit of loft on it as well, just to try and slow it down, because you get that little skip forward, and it will still roll quite a bit, I reckon. That looks very nice there. So all the way up to the other tee box. Really well done, the elevation work in there. The way he's done the terrain and the stairs and that going up there. Very nicely done. Even the fences and that as well. Just looks the part. Okay, let me get back to where I was. Put a little bit more loft on it. Oh, just hope it doesn't land short. Oh, we get a perfect, perfect. Nice. Oh, that'll do. That sets us up for a nice little birdie putt. Pretty flat. And just smash that in there. Nice terrain work again, all the way around the green complex there. Okay, hole 13, 419 yards. Par 4, stroke index 9. Okay, fairway splits up here. I don't know if we're going to reach this second section, but we'll give it a try. Depends on the wind, I suppose. Okay, you've got a sort of raised green complex. Nice view down towards the sort of beach and the sea. Now, can we reach this second section? Oh, that is, that is very close. I reckon we'll make that out with that bit of wind. Even though it's slightly uphill. Yep, we've made that. Nice big drive, just under 320 yards. I'll tell you what I've been playing as well, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. What a game. I kind of went off Assassin's Creed's after sort of Black Flag. That was one of my favourite ones. And they all sort of yeah, started getting a bit crappy. Syndicate wasn't too bad. Uh, Unity was absolute garbage. The last one wasn't very good. Um, Origins. But Odyssey, what a fantastic game. Beautiful game. Okay, 79, playing 80. Let's go with the 73, I reckon. That should be fine. Oh, another perfect, perfect. Yeah, so Assassin's Creed Odyssey, I think I've put about 30, 40 hours into it last week. <clears throat> As I said, I haven't really been playing much games at all this week. But um, I'm going to try and get back into it. Fantastic game. I mean... It's actually dated before, like, the Assassins and that, so there's not... Oh, look at that bloody swing. <laughs> so that you've not actually got the hidden blade and stuff like that yet, but there's a, a 
story DLC is just coming out for it, the first Blade or something it's called. And that's, I think that's with Assassin's come into it. But yeah, fantastic game. Probably one of the best Assassin's Creed games I've ever played. Apart from Assassin's Creed 2 and Black Flag. <laughs> Okay, hole 14, 509 yards, par 4, stroke index 3. And I've also went back to Fishing Planet, and I didn't think I'd ever go back to playing that game. It's a free-to-play fishing game, and the sort of economy was a bit... They sort of screwed up a little bit. Uh, with most free-to-play games, it's all down to microtransactions and DLC, but uh, they're bringing out European lakes and that for it within the next probably couple of months, I reckon. And they're bringing out feeder fishing and things for it as well. So I thought I'd get back into that. I'm really enjoying it. Okay, what did we say here? Hole 14, 509 yards, par 4, stroke index 3. Oh, jeez, look at that. That was a wild swing. It's in the bunker. Wow, that was crass. One of the worst swings I've ever had. Okay, 213 yards. Oh, it's a par four as well. I'm gonna have to go with a five iron. I'm not gonna reach that out. One iron. I wonder if the one iron will make that. Let's go with the one iron. Oh, it is. Nice. Go on, get up. Up, 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 up. That's not bad from there. That is not bad from that bunker. Okay, it still sets us up for the putt though. 29 feet, 1 inch down. Could be a pretty big putt though. Whoa, that sort of went straight there. Yeah, there was a forum on the putt there. I post on the forum about that. The sort of, I call it a levitating ball. You've seen it sort of lifted up there. Uh, went about 10 feet before it started to turn. Ah, of course, HB. I've never seen it before. They don't know how to recreate it. Uh, same as some of the other things that they, they used to say. <laughs> oh, we haven't come across that. Video it. And let's see. But if they've played this game... As long as some of us, uh, they've, they've certainly come across it. Okay, hole 15, 603 yards, par 5, stroke index 11. Oh, quite a long par 5 this one, so I can't see his reaching the green in two. Just going to smash the driver down here. Ooh, that's a bright sun. Okay, pretty big drive, 304. 14 yards. Even these, um, the sculpt them in these fairways as well, uh, the sort of slopes and undulations and that you've got on them. Really, really well done. Very, very nice. For a first course, it's spectacular. It really is. Okay, so we're not going to reach the green in two. So we should just hit up to here. Could have went a bit closer actually and went with a smaller chip, a uh, smaller pitch. This is going to leave us a good 70 feet, I think. <coughs> oh no, 89. That's not too bad there. I should be able to get a full shot out of this. 89, so that's playing about 91. Yep, get a full shot out of this. Cool. I hope they haven't took too much off. Oh no, that's fine. That shall do. Oh, spin back. A bit query. Quite a bit of a bite on that one. And you going up to a uphill green. Okay, 10 feet. One inch up. Slight little turn on it. Hey, we got another birdie. K okay, hole 16, 158 yards, par 3, stroke index 13. Okay, great looking view over to the docks that. Again, you've got this lovely beach 
sort of work that he's done. Really, really well done. Great view. The planting, the grasses and all that. Very, very natural looking. Okay, 141, 32 feet down. So that's plenty about 130. Ooh, that's... Might down loft that bit, you know. Let's try that. This might still be short. Oh no, that's fine. That should stop pretty quick as well, the gap wedge. That was a good shot. Took a chance out. I thought I might have been a little bit short, but no. Turn. Oh, just dropped in the side door there. Okay, hole 17, 315 yards, par 4, stroke index 17. Okay, a nice sort of little, what would you call it? Little walkways. These little bits of wood here, they're not, they're not walkways, um, begins with a, was it a P, <laughs> I can't remember the name, but that's pretty cool, yeah, I do like that. Just sort of cutting across the grass, uh, the, the sand down, uh, you've got a little one there as well, uh, steps up to the green, he's done a, he has done a cracking job on this. Okay, I'm going to go with a one iron. We've got seven mile an hour wind against this, so that should slow it down for us. Yeah, that's fine. Oh no, I was thinking the wrong one. I was, I was thinking of promenade, but promenade's like a big sort of pier in it. Okay, we'll call it a walkway. <laughs> 85, so this is playing 86. And we're going to go with a normal shot, go up to the 94 lob wedge. So what did I say? 86. A little bit of loft on that. A little bit of wind as well, should help slow it down. Oh, I thought that was going to be a fast air, but it's not. That was actually bang on, right in the middle. That wind just didn't turn. And mind you, again, look at my swing. There's a bit of a pull left. I keep thinking the wind's not doing its job, but I'm pulling them or pushing them. <laughs> okay, 11 feet, two inches down. A bit of a turn, left to right. Turn, turn. Oh, dear, dear, dear. <coughs> Just get comfortable on my chair. That should have been a birdie. But we'll take the par. K okay, hole 18, 539 yards, par 5, stroke index 15. Great view, again, the beach, just so I've got all the way down the right hand side there, all the way down to the, the point where the lighthouse is. Nice, sort of planting of the bushes. It's a beautiful looking hole, this. I do like that green complex to the left there as well. And again, this is that shared green that we played earlier. With a cracking looking retaining wall all the way around it. Lob wedge? Why does that give us a lob wedge off there? Just to give us, let us take the view in a bit, yeah. <laughs> okay, five iron. Yeah, that's a nice green complex, that one, that is. Very nicely done. Again, all this sand work and beach work that he's done all the way around here. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, where were we? What was the driver? Driver, sh ooh. Oh, plenty of space here. That's fine. Just aim down here then. Okay, just over 300 yards with the driver. Should reach this green, <coughs> excuse me, in two. No, we're not. 251, that's playing about 254. So we're actually going to lay up short. Oh, that is close. That is close. But I think that's going to hit right in that bunker. So I'm going to aim up here. That'll leave us a little pitch. Oh, 
And hopefully we'll come away with a birdie on the last hole. Okay, 52. Oh, 52, damn. What does the flop give us? Nope. Oh. 57. Oh dear. I think I'm going to have to try and a full shot with that loft on it. Will that? I mm, don't know. Should have thought about this before I took my second shot. Right, what I did there, I did what? Oh, I tried to do like a 90% swing. That wasn't a full back swing as well. And it still gave me 100% power. I'm sure, I dropped that down a bit. Okay, it leaves us 15 feet, 3 inches down. Baby it. <laughs> okay, guys, so that's Platinum Point. Uh, that's designed by Beef, and that's the entry, another entry into the Rookie Design Contest over at TDC Tours. Fantastic course for a first um, time design uh, for a rookie. Oh, fantastic, beautiful course. Really, really enjoyed it, and I'll, have, I'll be looking out for some of his other courses in the future. That was absolutely outstanding. And Matthew Woods, you're right. It's got a very good chance of winning. Great rock work, planting. The fairway is absolutely fantastic. The beach work, everything about the course was absolutely lovely. Really, really enjoyed it. So don't forget, guys, uh, this is going to come out on the 24th, the Saturday. And don't forget there's going to be a memorial tournament on the HB Official uh, Societies uh, for Divot Maker. So give, give them a play. Yeah, show a bit of respect. Uh, get the numbers up as well. And don't forget guys, if you like the content, hit that like button and I will catch you again next time.